Hi guys, DIY Woodworker here with you again. Well, I'm beginning to believe I'm jinxed. <laughs> I, just, I tell you. <laughs> I started my program this morning, checked everything out, everything looked good and everything was going along fine. My carving was doing good. I'm going to lift and manually move my camera here. Hold on a second. Let me zoom in here. Uh, how well that's going to come out but it was carving started down here and it was going along carving just great just great just great and, and I left the room again and came back a few minutes later and it's sitting up here and it's just not a moving it's just kind of sitting on you 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 oh what in the world in the universal g-code sender program over here wasn't doing anything just Give me a bunch of okay, 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 okay with each line. I don't know what happened. So I had to, uh, let me zoom back out here. I had to uh, go in here and manually shut down my computer. I couldn't even get out of the program. It was locked up. The universal g-coder so I don't know if something happened with it if I had a hiccup in my internet service I, I who knows this is getting <laughs> beyond frustrating so as I don't know what happened the only recourse I have now is to start over again so I will pause this video I will turn my wood around one more time get a clean shot at some wood and uh, We'll try it again. The carving that is coming up is looking fairly well. This uh, round nose or bone nose bit seems to be the trick. Uh, I just can't get all the way through a, a program without something happening here, and I just—it's just beyond me what's going on. I haven't got a clue. So here we are. <laughs> Bear with me. I'll be back shortly and we'll see if something different's happened here. If we can get through a uh, program. On a side note, uh, I put a request up on the forum for uh, people if they've had problems with these uh, routers stopping and four or five six people responded and they've all said pretty much the same thing this your brushes and uh, you need to replace them and replace them is no big problem of course you read the paperwork <laughs> from the wall no don't do this send it into an authorized service repair facility don't you dare do it well I'm gonna go ahead and do it or try to do it I think I can uh, if they can I can I don't see uh, Got good. I don't see why I can't. I got good mechanical aptitude, so and electrical background, so uh, I should be able to replace those brushes. Uh, I've ordered some from uh, Amazon. It's the only place I can find them, but they were for this model of uh, router. So uh, they'll be here in a few days, and uh, when they get here, I'll take that router that's not running and uh, replace those brushes and see if that fixes my problem. But uh, in the meantime. <laughs> Back to mystery number XXX. Uh, just <laughs> I tell you, folks, this is really challenging me. I guess it's a good thing God loves me. All right, we'll talk to you later. Okay, folks, we're back. Started up again. Uh, don't know why it died. I'm approximately the point I was a while ago when it quit. We'll see what happens. I did make a made a, make a change in the uh, medium I'm using. I am using popular instead of oak. Went on the selection there where you can select your wood and there's no selection for popular. I don't know why that is. Uh, popular is one of the most popular woods out there. Okay, bad joke. Anyhow, I use medium oak, assuming that that would be in a proximity to the strength of the popular wood, medium oak, I don't know. That was my guess. And uh, it's carving now. The carving's looking fairly good. Uh, 
We'll just have to see if it stops or not. So uh, now it looks like it's running okay, so I had not a clue why it stopped before, other than maybe some sort of glitch in the internet, which that happens a lot. I have Comcast, and no matter what they, uh, they advertise, they're not the best. But I'm stuck with them for now. We're going to continue on. Uh, I'll pause this video and uh, come back when it's finished, if it does finish. I'll show you what I have. successfully completed and it looks like we've got almost a portrait here I guess it's time to go out and put the stain on it and try fixing it up but you can see there is a face in the wood so you get the angle right where you can see it best Uh, that's the closest we've come. Now this is in poplar. Uh, no more jokes about poplar wood. <laughs> Once was enough. But uh, again, that's the closest I've come to getting a satisfactory result. Uh, I guess tomorrow I'll take it out and do the stain trick and uh, light sanding and see what I come up with. I say tomorrow because it's already almost 7 p.m. and I'm just not going to do no more today. That's enough, but uh, that looked pretty good. So we'll go ahead and post this video tonight, show this result to you. I can't imagine, I don't know what happened earlier when the machine stopped. Uh, I, again, I can only assume that it was a glitch in the internet that caused the problem. Or a glitch in the universal, a glitch in the universal G code center. I, I, I don't know, I haven't got a clue. But anyhow, uh, that's done. Uh, again, <laughs> my, my board's a little warped here. I don't know if you can see that in the picture or not, but it's not perfectly flat. But when I put it on the board and pulled it down, it, it flattened out. But, uh, that's it. Uh, first attempt at uh, carving a photo that I finally got a positive result on, I believe. Uh, I will uh, video the outcome of the staining and lightly sanding tomorrow. Uh, I plan on doing what I've seen them do on their tutorials where they put a light uh, stain on, wipe it off, let it dry, and then take and do a light sanding across the top of it to uh, make things stand out on it. We'll see how that comes out. Uh, this isn't cut very deep, so it might be a real light sanding. But we will see what we will see. I thank you for watching my videos. I do appreciate it if you are watching it. Uh, for those uh, new subscribers I've got, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I used to sit here at the end of each video to request that you sign up and become a subscriber. I've stopped doing that because I figure if you want to sign up and become a subscriber, you will. And me begging you too won't, it won't change the fact if you will or won't. So I thank you again if you are a new subscriber subscribing and uh, hope you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out and that uh, you'll come back for more. For now this is the DIY CNC Woodworker and we will talk to you again soon. Have a nice day.